I'm interested in uh, enabling everyone who has time and energy and enthusiasm to do science and engineering. In the future, there is a really neat opportunity for open source science to be driven by amateurs. I'm Mac Cowell, I'm from Boston, and uh, I generously call myself a DNA hack, because I actually suck at using DNA. <laughs> I went to a liberal arts school because I didn't know what I wanted to study. I wanted to study cognitive science, but um, then I got introduced to biology, and in particular synthetic biology, as an undergraduate, and I just fell in love with the whole idea. It felt like it really was the ground floor of a new engineering discipline. Everyone has free time, and everyone has enthusiasm for different things, and I think that there's some kind of unfortunate cultural uh, barrier to people. To, when they think about doing science, they say, oh, I can't do that, I'm not qualified, I'm not allowed, I don't understand it. And it turns out that when you actually go into a lab, you're using a lot of like duct tape to hold stuff together and saran wrap and like straws and it's, it's not magical. If you just understand it, uh, you can do it. A friend and I a year ago started a website called DIYBio.org and it's really just a big mailing list for people interested in doing amateur science. And I really think that actually there's this neat opportunity for us to explore the future of academic publishing here because on one hand you've got scientists building lab notebooks day to day and on the other hand they're spending two years to publish an academic article. So if I'm an amateur, where do I fit into that? Maybe I can't even publish in a prestigious journal. Maybe I don't really know how to get into that. So I think that there needs to be some kind of new website that amateurs will gladly participate in if grad students won't, that sort of is in between lab notebooks and really packaged results. So I'm doing this demo and the uh, notion here is that this is a standardized biological part, one of three standard biological parts, into E. coli. We're gonna grow them today and then tomorrow we'll get to see if they're glowing or they're red or they smell like bananas. Um, so 10 people came out and we tried that. And it's, this is a really neat idea. So this is a synthetic biology idea. And the notion here is that we've got DNA, the actual part itself, the standardized biological part, a bio brick format, standard biological part. Here on the page, this is like little spot right there. That's actual DNA, plus documentation about how the part works. And that's not like a brand new idea, but this whole uh, presentation of it, that is kind of new. And um, hopefully, synthetic biologists hope that we'll have thousands of these someday that are all well described. And you just pick 10 of those. You don't know how to manufacture them. You just know how to use them. And that abstraction is useful. This could be a kit so easily, a deck of cards. I just uh, um, tried doing the demo. And this one, I put uh, the Lux, the luciferase generating part, into uh, E. coli. And they're growing in this, in this uh, broth. So tomorrow, hopefully, if we shake it up and aerate it, in a dark room, we'll see a really faint glow. And that faint glow will be because we put this standard biological part from our card into the cells, and they're expressing the uh, right part. I'm excited about these because uh, I think that lowers the barrier to entry for amateurs to explore and experiment with and test and play with biological systems. And people who, because they just love doing it, they don't really need to find another stake, uh, like a patent or revenues, to participate in the science. So for ha perhaps in 10 years, we'll have an open source amateur biology biofuel project where I just give you this vial or this seed or something. You can go plant it everywhere in Africa without fear of like uh, intellectual property repercussions and provide uh, fuel or vaccines or something like that for the rest of the world. And I think that's a really compelling idea and I hope that amateurs can help the world make, make the world a better place.